Hello, Realtor at University Master of Real Estate students. In this video in the series, Realtor University Live Tips, a series where we present common student research scenarios and provide quick and easy solutions, we will cover how to use Microsoft Windows paint and snipping tools to capture images of charts and graphs and insert them into your reports and papers. I will start by opening an example so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's a paper that I wrote and we will scroll down to a section where I inserted an Excel spreadsheet. So for example, here I inserted a spreadsheet and it is an image so I can resize it to any size that I want it to be. So in order to do that, you need to use either the paint or the snipping tool. So when you are using Microsoft Windows, you have the startup icon at the lower left hand corner in your task bar. This down here area with all these different icons is called your task bar click on the startup icon and then you may have to add this tool I use it so frequently that it's actually in my startup menu it's called the snipping tool and the other tool I'm talking about is the paint tool if you don't see these in your startup menu what you can do is just right here search snip and it should pop up under programs if you'd like to add it to your startup menu or even your taskbar you can right click and you can pin to taskbar or pin to start menu. That way, if, if you pin it to your start menu, it'll be in the menu when you click on the Windows icon. I'm gonna click on that tool, and then what happens is your screen kind of grays out like this, and you see this snipping tool. And when you're ready to snip something, you click new. So I'm gonna minimize this for now. The next thing I need to do is open up something that I want to paste into here. And I'm going to open up an Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So let's say that this is the image that I want to insert into my spreadsheet. Now, I mean, you can obviously just select these cells, copy them, and then you can go into your spreadsheet and paste them. But what happens is, look, it only, you know, pasted some of the cells. It doesn't fit here. This is cut off. You know, I mean, that's not, that's not what you want, and that's really frustrating, right? So what you need to do is instead of pasting the actual spreadsheet itself, I'm going to undo that, we're gonna take an image and paste it in and then you can resize it any way you'd like. I'm gonna take that snip tool from my taskbar. I'm gonna click new. And then I've got this cursor that I can use and I'm gonna start at the top left corner of the image that I wanna select. And I'm gonna drag down and we'll just go to here for now. And let's say that's what I wanna put into my thing. Finish clicking. Here's the image. So now you can either use this into paint and make some changes or you can just paste it right into your document so for example now I'm gonna hit the paste button control V or you can just right click and paste and then there are the images and you can center it or make it larger make it smaller you know whatever you need to do to get the image in there so that's one way to use the snipping tool. Now if you have this image and you want to highlight something or say hey look at this then here's where I recommend that you open the paint tool and you click on paint and then you can just paste the image in. So I'm going to hit control V and that pastes it in and now let's say I want to call um, my reader's attention to a specific number on this chart. I'm going to select the red font because I want to use that. I'm going to select a box and then let's say I want to have them focus on the net operating income. It's a pretty important number. I just click in the upper left hand corner and drag my cursor to the right hand corner. And there we go. And then let's say maybe I want to make an arrow. I can select the arrow key and I can leave that there. I can even add some text right there. I can say, look here. Okay, you can increase the font if you want to. How about Arial 20? Look here. So the paint tool, though very rudimentary, very crude looking, I use it all the time in my daily work and it can be a nice tool to highlight things, draw people's attention to something. And I will show how to use this with Google Maps, which is something that you use in the finance class and maybe even in some of the CREA classes when you're pointing out a property on a map or something like that. So I'm going to close that. So again, if you want to use the snipping tool, 
you click on the Windows icon at the bottom left, you search for SNP, you select the snipping tool, and you click at the top left corner and hold it down until you've selected the image that you want. And then you have the option to either copy and paste that into an email message, a Word document, you know, PDF, whatever it is that you need to paste it into. Or if you prefer, you can always use the File Save As menu and you can opt to save it as an image. It will automatically default to saving it as a JPEG, but you can also save it as a PNG or even a GIF file. So another thing I want to take a look at is using the snipping and paint tools when you're grabbing um, a map per se. For this assignment, it was in my CREA class, I did a location analysis and part of that included an aerial graphic of the neighborhood in which my property was located and also an actual parcel satellite map of my property. Let's reproduce how I did this and I just pasted it in, looks nice and professional, straightforward, easy. For this example, go to maps.google.com or you can use whatever your favorite mapping tool is. I'm going to use the same subject property. All right, and I could always just do this map image or maybe I want satellite. I'm going to zoom it in just a little bit get the map where I want it, and now I'm going to take a snip of this. So I'm going to go to the Windows icon at the bottom left, select on Snipping Tool, which I have in my Startup menu, or you can text search for it as we've done the past few times, Snipping Tool, and I have my map already in front of me. So I even want the address to display because I want it to kind of show that. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. That's what I want. And now you can either paste this into Paint, you can paste it directly into your paper, or the snipping tool has this highlighter. It's really a quick and dirty tool. You can't undo anything with this highlighter. So whatever marks you make are permanent unless you retake the picture and redo it. So I happen to know, having done this project, that this is my subject property. So I'm gonna highlight it in yellow. And then I'm gonna outline it and do some things in paint. So I'm gonna click Control A, which is select all, Control C, which is copy, and I'm going to open up paint. So I'm going to start menu, you can either text search for paint, or I already have it in my startup menu, I'm going to click on paint, and then I'm going to paste it in. Now I want to draw more attention to this subject property. I'm going to select that same yellow color, and I'm going to use a box, and I'm going to outline it, just to kind of make it look a little more clean. You can use your, once you've created it, and you have these little boxes, you can move them up and down, with your arrows. I'm just going to place it right where I want it. There we go, looks good. And I'm also going to use an arrow. I'm going to make my own arrow by using this line key. Holding the shift key will create a straight line. I'm going to make an arrow line here, arrow line here. I'm going to leave that. So there we go. And this is ready to paste into my paper. So I'm going to hit Control A to select all. Then you see how it put a dotted line around this saying I've selected it all. Control C to copy. Go back to my Word document and we'll just delete the old one. I'm going to paste the new one in. Control V. Paste. And now I've got an aerial satellite view of my subject property in my paper. Just encourage you to play with these two tools. They're really simple. They come with, with any version of Windows. That concludes this video in the Realtor University's Live Tips video series. Stay tuned for future videos in this series. And of course, please do not hesitate to contact us for research guidance, ideas, and much more. We also have a writing center for help with papers and assignments.